Hey everybody, it's Paul from Screenwriting Scribe here with you with another first impressions video. Today we're going to look at Celtic. Now Celtic is very similar to Studio Binder and Studio Vidity, and you can find links for both of those particular projects down in the description below. Uh, what it basically is, is it's just not a screenwriting software program. It's sort of a one-stop shop uh, with being able to do things. Um, and so I wanted to bring you what Celtic looks like. Uh, and do a review of it uh, probably a little later in a couple videos. Uh, but today I just want to give you my first impressions, what it looks like, how easy it is to use. So all I've done so far is simply uh, ask to do a free seven day uh, trial. And you can do it by going to Celtic.com. And again, I will link that in the description below. Uh, so the first thing, this is the first thing I did after I put my email in. Uh, it says, let's create your first project. Uh, so let's see what we can create. So we can create a couple of different things. We can create a screenplay slash film script. We can import my existing script, uh, beat story, story outline, TV web series, a play, an audiovisual script, uh, or a shooting schedule. So these are all different things that we would like to create. Uh, let's take a look at, you know, let's do a screenplay. Uh, let's name our screenplay. We're going to do the famous test one, two, three, because that's what we do here on this channel. So now it's creating it for us. Let's take a look at how um, easy this thing is to use and stuff like that. So, um, so the nice thing, it starts off first here uh, and talks us about, uh, so welcome to your screenplay project. As you create, we'll take care of all the spacing, numbering, and fonts. Simply use the tab or enter to select the element that you want. Um, and so now we can watch a, a little bit of a video on how to use stuff. Uh, so I'll probably skip through that but I'm actually gonna watch it uh, here just to see what they have to say. All right, so it's pretty cool. The, the video was really informative and I'll go through it with you here in just a second because uh, like I said, I cut that out of the, the, of the video. Uh, let's see what happens when I hit next. Okay, it brings us to what we need to know here. Uh, so the nice thing about this so far is this has been really user friendly. I'm really impressed with the degree uh, with having that intro video. The intro video I think that has done a great job of sort of introducing me to the process. Right now it's, uh, shows me um, how to uh, change stuff and you just have to use tab it's very much like when you're using fade fade in pro you're just using tab uh, so as we drop you can use the drop element drop down or keyboard shortcuts to choose the element you can read formatting guides here so it has a, another thing uh, about that so that's pretty cool Let's see what it shows us next so here it says all of your saved work sessions can be found under history options review favorite Name or restore of any previous version. So we might actually import a script here uh, pretty soon after we try writing one. Uh, so this is nice. So that's where it details what the file is. Um, let's see what next. Drafts, create a new draft of your script for safekeeping on Explorer story arcs and more. So just save the draft there. So the edit page has a lot of nice formatting features. So dual dialogue, woohoo, you know, that's one of my favorites. I know I don't use it very often, but it's nice that it's included there. It's in the drop-down menu, really easy to use. You'd be surprised how many screenwriting software programs do not include dual dialogue. Title page, you can work on the title page, cut, copy, paste, find, replace, check spelling, that type of stuff. Um, script settings, customize your script. Um, so cool. Uh, writing goals, okay. So this is one thing I've been noticing in a lot of, of software going forward now is that a lot of times you have built-in goal uh, trackers, um, stuff that'll help you uh, maintain your goal. So this is pretty cool. So you could do one page, number of words, uh, that type of thing, thinking, that type of stuff. So uh, in, they're really right. It's really that simple. Also, wonderful that they link you to the Help Center. So that's a great, great tool. So, so far, I'm pretty impressed with how things are going. Um, so there's tools, there's navigation, comments, breakdown, shot list. So these are some tools that you can use for, um, well, let's do 250 words. Let's uh, see if we can do that for today. Today's word count. Advanced total word goal. Let's just do that. Let's just go for a total word goal of that. Perfect. Okay. So here's some shot list, breakdown, comments, navigation. Um, everything else looks really easy to use. Um, so the nice thing is when we were looking at the elements on the page, you notice right here, it tells you this is the scene heading, um, and it gives you an example, interior spooky castle night. This is an action that describes what's happening in the scene. 
be it mundane or extraordinary, spectacular car chaser, picking up the dry cleaning is up to you. Um, an action always um, should always follow a scene heading. Scene headings basically described if a scene takes place indoors. So it's it's really nice in that it's really sort of helping, especially if you're a beginning writer, things it's really helping you you see things out. Uh, character one. Um, so my name is always so this like I said again. I'm really enjoying this because it's it's giving that first time screenwriter. Uh, I wish more programs would do this. Just have it sort of laid out in script format, and you can sort of see how things work. And so I, um, as much as I thought I would be knocking Celtics, I, I actually have been really enjoying this first way of looking at things, and I can see why uh, a lot of people enjoy this type of program. Really easy. Breaks down what a parenthetical is. Talks about parentheticals here talks about the fade to black type of stuff so real easy to look through real simple to, to work on and again you have um, the top part title by by line you have author based on copyright contact information that type of stuff so let's see if this is going to be easy to do so let's do um, so I think what I'm going to do today is just write a little bit about a game that, that I was just got done playing recently. So let's see if, if this is just as easy to start with. So I'm gonna do um, okay. um, So what you'll see me do here, do here, real easy to do, got right in there, not hard to do. I'll put, I'll separate those two things. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna take the next couple minutes. You're gonna see this as sort of a time lapse of me just writing out a basic script. And then we'll try, and then I'll probably import a script too to take a look at some of the other tools. So I'm just gonna go through, uh, include parentheticals, um, include characters, include action scenes, and then we'll try to, to uh, go to new scene heading and we'll just see how everything all flows together. Um, so here we go. <laughs> So I hit act accidentally. I mean action. So just be careful of that. And you can also see here where all the, if you want to use a shortcut, um, I'm using a Mac, just so you're aware of that. And so there we go. This is another way to do what you need to do. So just remember it's act and not action, which is why you saw me go a couple times off the screen. So, so far it's pretty easy. Uh, I've been enjoying my time doing this. It's, uh, like I said, I'm gonna try here in just a moment to see how easy it doesn't remember previous character's name and stuff like that. Um, we'll take a look. Looks like it remembers the name really easily. So again, you can just see how easy it is to play around with the tab key and the tab key gets me right back to the action as well. Okay, so I got done uh, with this particular script. Again, wasn't was pretty easy. Nice thing about it, it does let you know when you misspell the word, so I really appreciated that. Uh, the one thing I've noticed when using the tab key, uh, I normally am actually coming up here, I should be using the shortcut for character or an action. I should say just using the shortcut for, for action. I'm noticing that that's probably the hardest thing to do. That I'm noticing I'm using my mouse key to get myself up there. And if I think if I just real if I just understood the um, shortcuts a little better, I think that would be better to do. Otherwise, than, otherwise than that, it was a pretty easy experience, pretty painless. I was just looking to see, it, so you can definitely see the page breaks. Two, three. Okay, so this is where you get four pages. Perfect. Okay, so. So now I know I have four pages. I did my writing goal of 250 words. I wrote for about 10 minutes and six seconds, and it's telling me I'm thinking right now. So like all that, and I can just as easily hit uh, save draft, save to say name for this draft, um, beginnings one, so we'll just name it something like that. Uh, other nice thing about this, uh, print or download a PDF. We can take a histories, you can create a link, um, we can rename the script. We can add episodes. We can export the script um, to text or to fountain. 
Um, so this is interesting. What does it mean to text? Uh, yes, let's allow that. So let's see what it actually brings it up as. Okay, it brings it up as a text document. So that's interesting. So you can bring it in as a text document and we can download it as a PDF. All right, so R, does this allow me to bring in a final draft script? So let's take a look at that real quick. Okay, I'm taking a look at a script that I just imported uh, from Final Draft. So it looks like that looks good. Let's see if it, okay. So it did add it to the script that I had. So you have to open up a new document in order to do this uh, in a fresh page. So everything looks good. Um, yeah, it looks like everything came across well. The formatting looks good. So awesome. So let's take a look at some of the tools. So navigation. Okay, so it navigates you to different scenes. So that's perfect. So let's navigate to interior bedroom. Perfect. All right. Uh, breakdown. So let's see what the breakdown gives us for this. So it gives us different breakdowns. So I just double clicked on Lillian. This is what comes up. So this is how I can break her down. I can do trade schools, played by, images, description. Interesting. Perfect. Uh, shot list. Let's see if it close, gives me a shot list for everything right now. All right. So I can create a shot list on there. All right. So looks pretty easy. Uh, let's see if this is the undo. Yep. There's your undo key. Here's your, you can go to full screen, uh, which I'm already at uh, 100%. You can change the, the size of the script as well too. Help, again, you can go use their support menu. Uh, and I haven't tried that yet, but I'll do that for the review. Uh, view, you can take a look at script timers. You can look at script insights, scene numbers, dialogue numbers. You can zoom in, full screen, color. You can change the color for the text or the background. Uh, so there's a lot of different customization stuff within here. All right, so I just looked at, um, it's telling me to, about drafts and stuff like that. So that's okay. I'm going to close that for right now. So I just went over here and clicked on my uh, title. And this is what it brings up. It tells me how many collaborators I have. It tells me the name of the script, the draft. You can create beat sheets. You can create storyboards. Um, you can create cast and crew, budgets, schedule, films and media. So again, this is uh, pretty neat. Uh, so if you want to make this a one-stop shop, if you don't want to have to get another app or use something else in order to do your shots, if you're especially if you're a small company, a uh, small group of people who are creating films and stuff like this, this is a good deal. And like I said, I've been pretty impressed with this so far. Uh, so stay tuned for my review on Celtics. But until the next video, live well and write well.